in this example, we look at section 22.8. First one, Mr. A, natural person, can you see, trades as a sole trader. He sells home cleaning supplies, such as detergent, soap, dish towels, dishwashing liquids from a small shop. The following information is relevant. Included in opening stock is a product called Soap X that had a cost of a thousand rands and a market value on the last day of the prior year of a thousand three hundred rands. Mr. A purchased the product called Soap Y at a cost of two thousand rands. Market value of the soap was two and a half. Mr. A took both Soap X and Soap Y from trading stock to use in his prior residence. So guys, this is now a situation where a taxpayer takes stock for private use. So what is the amount that must be recouped? The cost. Right. So make sure as you see we're adding back the cost. We claim the deduction for opening stock for stock purchased. Number two, X Limited has a December year end and is a registered VAT vendor. All amounts below exclude VAT. They sell a variety of products which includes cleaning products. During the year of assessment, X Limited allowed one of its directors of the company to take cleaning products home for personal use. The cleaning products were purchased during the year for 20,000 rands and at the time it was taken by the director it had a market value of 26,000. Now, although this one seems a little bit similar that it's taken for private use, please note that the owner of the stock in example 1 is a natural person, Mr. A, and the owner of the stock in example 2 is a company, not a natural person. A company cannot take things for private use. The director of the company is not the owner, so even though the director is a natural person taking it for private use, it's not the owner doesn't apply. So what will we add? We will add the market value of the stock. So see we claim the deduction of the cost at the market value. Example 3, this is Mr. D is a sole trader and a rising star in the world of high-end fashion. Mr. D made a dress at a cost of 20,000 rands during the year. He donated this dress to Mr. Johannesburg to wear as an evening dress to a gala event. At the time of the event the dress had a market value of 35,000. Alright, so Indicate what the effects on the income will be if Mr. D donated the dress purely out of benevolence. He didn't receive anything in return. So this is a donation. It is not to a public benefit organization. Ms. Johannesburg is not. So what must we add? We must add the market value. Right, so I want you to see. We just claim a stock deduction and the market value. But now look at the next situation. B, what happens if he donated the dress but he entered into an agreement with Miss Johannesburg that she would make sure to mention that it was a dress from his boutique. So in other words, he's using it as marketing. In that case, you would still claim a deduction for the cost. You would still add the 35,000 rand market value, but see that you can claim that same amount then as a deduction. And that is what we can see in that proviso to section 22.8. Example 4, A Limited manufactures and sells soccer balls. During the current year of assessment, A Limited manufactured 10 soccer balls at a total cost of 500 rands. A Limited then donated these soccer balls to a local school, which is a registered PBO, and they received a Section 18A certificate. At the time of the donation, the soccer balls had a market value of 750. You may assume that the taxable income before taking into account these soccer balls was 35,000 rands. Alright, so what are we going to do here? First up, we would have had a deduction for the 500 rands cost. Then we're going to note it now to a PBO. This is a donation to a PBO. So whatever you claimed as a deduction in that year must be the amount that is recouped. So we claimed 500 as a deduction, so that is the same amount that we must recoup. Because this is a donation to a PBO, you get your donations deduction, which is why they gave us the rest of that information. Example 5. D Limited is a registered VAT vendor for 31 December year end. All amounts below exclude VAT. During the current year of assessment, D Limited purchased inventory at a cost of 100,000 rands. They then sold the inventory to a connected person for 120,000 rands when the market value was 150. Now, guys, that's a problem. That's not a normal sale. So, claim a deduction for the 100,000 rands, add the actual gross income, and our section 228 amount is the market value less the amount that was received as consideration. Example 6. X Limited is a company with a 31 December year end and is a registered VAT vendor. All amounts below exclude VAT. X Limited purchased inventory at a cost of 50,000 rands during the year. It then decided to distribute this to its shareholders as a dividend in specie and the market value was 65,000. So guys, this is not a donation to a PPO. It's not stock taken for private use, so market value must be added. Please note, there's no deduction for that for giving dividends in specie. Remember, paying a dividend is never in the production of income. Example 7, and I make a comment here, you need to compare this lecture example to the 
follow the next lex example after this. Okay, G Limited is a company with a 31 December year end and is a registered VAT vendor. All amounts below exclude VAT. G Limited purchases and sells computers to the public. It does not manufacture its own trading stock. That's very important for you to see. During the year, G Limited purchased a computer as trading stock at a cost of 30,000 rands. Right? So I want you to just see, you'll claim a deduction for that. Then, on the 1st of May, 20x5, A Limited decided to remove the computer from trading stock. So that's already a problem for us. And to use it as a capital asset in the accounting department. At that time, the computer was removed and had a market value of 40,000 rands. Then I tell you, in terms of interpretation at 47, computers were written over three years. And I then tell you what happens is I even sold the computer. Okay, so now guys, we have stock that becomes a capital asset here. So, you are treated as if you sold the stock at its market value of 40,000 rands. You are then treated as if you bought a capital asset at a cost of 40,000 rands. And then on that, what do you get if you claim a, buy a capital asset? You can claim section 11E. So see, that's under 40,000 rands. So you are treated as if you sold it to yourself. And then, guys, I just added, just to remind you, a little bit of an extra bit here, if you then went and sold it. But what I want you to see, what is very important in this question here, is that it's stock used as a capital asset. I did not manufacture it myself. So we claim a stock deduction. We recoup it. We claim CDT. Oh, we sorry, we and T on it, and then when we sell it, we do a recoupment and CDT. Compare that now to the next example, and it's the same amounts, but there's one big difference here. So, G Limited is a company with 31 December year end, all amounts below exclude VAT. G Limited manufactures computers and sells it to the public. So, I want you guys to see all of the amounts, if you go and look, will be the same. The only difference here is it does not manufacture its own trading stock versus it does. So, if you manufacture your own trading stock, Paragraph J A will apply. Now, see what happens. They manufacture the computer for 30,000 rands. So they can get a deduction for that 30,000 rands. Right? Then on the 1st of May, they decided to remove the computer from trading stock and to use it as a capital asset. So exactly the same as the previous example. And at the time the computer was removed, it had a market value of 40,000. But now, guys, see now what happens. Because paragraph J A applies, why? because you manufacture your own stock, you ignore this happening and you just continue treating it as stock. So, if at the end of the year you still had it in closing stock, you would just add back closing stock, lower of cost of market value. And now when you sell it, look at what happens when you sell it. That amount is just gross income. It's treated as if you sold your stock. So compare this example, see if you have your own, if you manufacture your own stock, how simple it is compared to if you don't manufacture your own stock, where all of these things happen. Now, this is why I say important for you in an exam, because if in an exam, if you miss this, and you treat the one as the other one, you can see you'll either waste time by doing too much, or you will lose a lot of marks. So you need to know what you are looking at.